in the Lord's Prayer, He leads us through a structure that is meant to be mimicked by our posture. Okay? We're going to run through these right quick, and then we're going to jump into some of the some of the invocations, some of the some of the beginnings of the prayer that will help us understand what I mean by what we're going to talk about today. And what I, look, what I mean by structure and what I mean by um, posture is that the, the prayer flows in such a way that you'll find yourself on your face, you'll find yourself standing. You'll find yourself on your face, you'll find yourself standing. You'll find yourself with smiles and, and, and wanting to sing songs of joy, and then you'll find yourself wanting to ask for repentance and for forgiveness and a number of other things. You guys need another one? You guys need another one? I've got another one underneath there. Sorry, I had thought. There's none that you need. There's two of you. I need a chair. Um, and the opening part of the prayer is praise and thanksgiving um, that is going to be a mixture of this praise and and then this reverence and praise and reverence um, as we pray this, um, uh, our Father. So look, um, quickly, let's jump into, and I want us to look through what the word praise means. You ever heard of a praise and worship team? Yeah. Okay. I think they're aptly named as long as they understand. Okay. And this is coming from my seminary work with uh, Dr. Roby. And his worship class, and how how impactful that was on my life in understanding the biblical nature of praise and of worship. And the word praise in the Hebrew language, yada, yada, means these things. Okay, you can hold your hands out. You can um, um, in this attitude of I want to give thanks. But the word also has a a. a Another meaning with it, which is always true with biblical languages. It's not English, and there's, there's, there's so many meanings in these words. But it's when someone comes to God in prayer, and they're coming to God with, this, with, with these hands open holding something, their automatic response is, is to throw that thing back at God in prayer. The word also means to shoot as one shooting an arrow. Okay? Now, I don't know about you guys, but there's sometimes in my prayer life when I realize that God has given me something that I have. And I'm, as I'm praying, I'm thanking God for that. It's this, it's this attitude of wanting to turn and go here. Thank you for that. Take this, right? And you're, you're, you're the one who gave it. You're the target in which I'm aiming at to give thanks here, right? And that's praise. That's, that, that's when we're praising God. We're heaping on him. We're shooting at him what's in our heart that we're thankful for. Now, I don't know about y'all. But when we start in our prayer, you're going to see there's a whole lot to be thankful for in our Father. You may, I think I talked about this last week even. I laid down here for about six months. In my, when I learned this prayer 17 years ago, I prayed our Father. I couldn't get past it. I prayed our Father, and I, I would keep keep sitting here and thinking and saying, God, thank you for this. And y'all, over the years, that's built up more and more and more and more and more. I became more and more and more thankful. You know, God's just added to it. And then th there's this thing. Sometimes when I'm praying I, 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 our Father in heaven and when I'm praying about God's my dad and God's my provider and he's giving me these things and I want to shoot them back at him and, and praise and say thank you for my son, thank you for my daughters, thank you for my wife you know, thank you for these things that you're giving me and God you choose to take those back, I gave them back to you anyway didn't I? As, I, as I shot them at you they were yours in the first place and it's this praise and y'all sometimes in my prayer life what I have to do is just stop and actually words in prayer and I gotta turn on a song like how deep is the Father's love for us. It goes beyond all measure. Right? And I lay down there in that song. Okay, or, I, or actually I put my headphones on. This is prayer for me. You might think, that's not prayer. This is prayer for me. Put my headphones on and I go for a walk. And as I'm walking along, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at that. And as I'm hearing those songs in my head, I am saying, how deep is your love for me? Amen. It goes beyond all measure. 
scripture. And I, I've got a bunch of songs that I love that are in my heart, and I play them, and I put them on a playlist, and I sit there, or I stand there in this posture of my chin lifted. And I don't know if say I'm saying look at me like, I don't know if that's why she looked at me. But there's been times where my wife's walked in on me in prayer in the mornings, you know, and maybe my children too, and see me in the room, you know, or see me on the back porch, and they think he's no, he's lost it, and I have <laughs> lost it, but I have, I've lost it because I'm sitting there, and you know, there might, I've, I've got hymn books that I keep at the house, I've got prayer lists that God might just grab a soul and grab my heart with it, and I'll tell you what the, uh, this, how, how God used this in my life, I'm going to move on to another word, praise I remember coming home about 15 years ago and my wife sitting down on, at the, at the uh, little table there in the little house we rented at the time and got a phone call and it was, yeah, okay, I'll tell him. Hung up and I heard it and I walked in there and um, my mama had been going for tests uh, on cancer for about a month, you know, and I walked in and I actually said, Jeremy, it's, it's cancer. Mom's got cancer, we gotta go down there. The whole family's meeting down there with her. And I, I said, okay, just wait before we go. I said, let's sit here and I grab my wife's hand right there and we started praying. And about two seconds into the prayer, I stopped and I looked at Ashley and I said, we don't need to pray words. Okay? And I started singing the song, How Great Thou Art. Mm -hmm. And we sang the song, How Great Thou Art, from Kayser to Lincolnton. And I walked in with my sisters and my brother there and the family there, and they're all in tears. And y'all, she had just heard the word cancer. My mom was still alive. They took that cancer out of her in about two months, out of that, and she ain't looked back since. Okay? Okay? I, how great thou art. Praise me. Praise me for what's going on. Praise me in this. Okay? Because praise confuses the enemy. I promise you, praise confuses the enemy.